Welcome to the Get Your Mind Right podcast. Every day, I want to be the first voice inside of your head, the first voice that motivates you to move. I put out these powerful segments every single day because I know the truth. The truth is that when you change your mind, you change your life. So let me, Ryan Suman, the hardcore closer, get your mind right. Man, the force of average will come at you any way possible. You know, today I was scrolling through Instagram and I know the brother C.T. Fletcher, the man that's famous for, I command you to grow, motherfucker. And he's talking about muscles. But like I always say, for every natural action, there's a supernatural correlation. And C.T. Fletcher's huge motivational speaker. He owns Iron Addicts Gym and everything else, man. And he's huge. He's ripped. His arms are 22 inches around. He is ripped. He's like no ounces of body fat whatsoever. He doesn't do steroids. He talks about how he doesn't do steroids. That's his thing. And man, the force of average has come against the brother. I seen today that he's on a heart transplant list, which means he's got a bad heart. You think about it, a man that lifts all of those weights and does all that cardio. Now he's got a heart problem. He's got kidney issues. His kidneys are shutting down on him. He's got some kind of degenerative disease that's caused him some kidney problems. And all this from a guy that's naturally in shape, a guy that focuses on cardio, a guy that lifts weights, a guy that has focused his entire life on fitness. He's a veteran. He served our country. But I want you to think about the example that C.T. Fletcher's life is right now. You see, here's a man who has challenged people to get off of steroids and grow still. Here's a man that served our country. Here's a man that's done some shit. He's seen some shit. He's been some shit. He is the shit. And now he's going through some shit. But at the end of his posts on Instagram, he's talking about how he's at the top of the list for heart transplants. And he's, he's happy and he's doing his best to, st- best to stay healthy. He says, it's still your set, motherfucker. You see, because CT understands a basic principle against the force of average, the minute that you let that motherfucker win is the minute that your life begins to end. You see, I wouldn't be surprised that with a bad heart and bad kidneys, he's still in the gym. Because you know what? He's not falling victim to this bullshit. But here's the thing. The guy has helped people break through. He's helped change their minds. He's helped change the way the gym industry works. He's helped change the way the bodybuilding industry works. And the force of average is trying to shut his ass down. You see, he's done some tremendous stuff, and now he's suffering some tremendous consequences because the force of average is trying to take him from where he was to where it wants him to be. You see, that's how life is on this planet. We get somewhere, we make huge strides, we make huge changes, and the force of average sneaks in on us. But it's our job to remind ourselves that it's still your set, motherfucker, and we're supposed to push ahead. It's our job to remember why we were here, to follow our purpose, and not let anything distract us until that one day when death comes our way. You see, CT knows that he's not going to live forever. He knows that he's not going to be here forever, and he's totally okay with that. But he also knows that while he is here, he's got to make the most of his time. While he is here, he can't fall victim to that shit. He's got to make it his bitch. Man, I really feel bad for the brother because I know. I know what it's like when you are on top of the world doing the things that you're supposed to do. And the weight of the world comes against you because you're a force fighter. You see, you listen to this show right now, you're a force fighter too. The weight of the world is going to come against you. And the harder you fight the force, the more it's going to fight back. And you just got to continue to grow and fight through it. It's not going to relent. It's trying to get you to relent your entire life. It's been trying to get you to relent. And you just got to keep pushing against it and keep pushing against it. And then when you think you can't push anymore, it's still your set, motherfucker. You see... Life's not supposed to get easy. Matter of fact, the older you get, the harder life is. My ex-father-in-law is pushing 80 years old. He walks around with a cane and a stutter and a neck brace on. And at one point, he was the CEO of Children's Hospital Dallas for 37 years. He was one of Dallas's most powerful men. And as he's gotten older, life's got harder. He's had tons of surgeries and tons of injuries. And it's just not easy. He's watched his brother with... Parkinson's disease and narcolepsy and and his brother's a little bit younger than him and life just gets harder as you get older 
We keep thinking that happily ever after exists in our golden years, right? But those golden years, you're older. And when you're older, it takes longer for your body to recover. It takes longer for your mind to adjust. Life does not get easier every minute that passes you by. Matter of fact, life's gathering up a motherfucking plan against you to get harder. So you got to do what my brother David Goggins does and you got to stay hard. You see, yesterday I was talking to David via text. He's going to speak at one of my client Brian Stahl's events tomorrow. And yesterday I was just shooting David text, let him know I love him and, and, and talk to him and just like have a little bit of fellowship with the guy. And he said he was grinding himself to the bone. And I said, David, you know, you've done that your entire life. Maybe it's time that you take a break, enjoy your wife, maybe go to a beach somewhere. And he said, I've seen the beach. My enjoyment of life is different than everybody else because I'm not going to fall victim to this shit. Don't worry about me. I got it. That's a motherfucker that knows right there. He knows. He knows that life does not get easier and he's not willing to waste one single second of his precious life letting the force of average make him fall victim. He's been there. He used to be a fat motherfucker. He'll tell you. He used to be out of shape. He used to hate himself, hate his body, hate everything about it, his existence. He's not going back to that. He knows that every minute that passes by is a minute you'll never get back. And so as you and I age through this life, and you and I make it through this life, running the direction that we are, doing the things that we are, just remember that life does not get easier. You must get tougher. And besides, you don't always have to do shit the hard way, but you have to be willing to do shit the hard way when the hard way is what you're called to do. I was called to do life the hard way. And that's what I do. I, in the words of my brother, David Goggins, I stay hard. I would recommend the same for you. If you know somebody who's going through some shit in life right now and they need to stay hard, send this to them. Share it with them. Put it on social media. Send them a direct message and email. Make sure you leave me a review on iTunes. And if you want to know what it takes to have a relentless mindset, go over to BFAEntourage.com. That's Break Free Academy. BFAEntourage.com and watch the free video I've got there waiting for you. We'll catch you on the next episode.